Hello everyone, I'm Adam with D&D Beyond. Thank you for joining me for this week's development update and community Q&A session. We're gonna jump right in where I can leave as much time as possible for the questions I always say that and you always never fail to deliver too many questions for me to answer, but we're gonna see how far we can get today. So latest updates upcoming and then getting right into the questions. Let's see. All right, so work in progress right now with the DDB Avery integration. And this is where you're gonna be able to use your unlocked content on DD Beyond within the Avre Discord bot. If you haven't tried out this Discord bot yet, especially with all of the quarantining and sheltering in place going on, this is an outstanding time to dig in. I'm thinking that next week I'm going to do a deeper dive here during the dev update where we can show off a little bit of what Avre can do for you and hopefully help some of you get started with it. Uh, it has a little bit of a learning curve, but once you get there, it really is just an incredibly invaluable tool. Right now, this has been released to all of our subscribers and I won't give any dates because I never do, but it is going to be very, very soon that this is unleashed on all of our users and you will be able to link your Discord account in your account settings. And once you do that, you can use your DDB unlocked content inside Avery. So this is a really big deal. We're really, really excited about uh, getting to this step and we're gonna look for other ways that we can continue to enhance and improve Avery going forward. We made some marketplace updates this week that uh, really just uh, some things that we have been looking at doing for a long time. Uh, we've gotten a lot of feedback from the community out there. You don't necessarily wanna see the things in the marketplace that you already own because you uh, we're missing some of the products that you didn't have. There are a lot of collectors out there that want 100% completion. So this allows you to filter by what you already own. And that's what's going to happen by default. So you can go there, see what you're missing, pick those things up, uh, some navigation improvements. And uh, as with everything, we're going to continue to listen to feedback and make improvements when it comes to anything on the D&D Beyond service in the marketplace uh, got a little bit of a facelift this week. Class feature variants. So I've been in, I think, two meetings this week uh, just on class feature variants, uh, some deep dives on uh, getting the implementation in place, but we're getting those replacement class features and enhanced uh, class features uh, going and uh, very excited uh, to be able to share that as soon as that is ready where you can finally play the ranger that you've always wanted to play no other comment space uh past that so we'll we'll, we'll leave it there but uh, we are working on this and we'll provide more news and updates as soon as we're able to and we've got a couple of alphas going on uh you know pretty pretty recently these have happened with digital dice we're going to look at those again here in just a second uh because uh you know we'll we'll uh, see how many we roll in order to see how many legendary bundles we're gonna give away. So digital dice, but then also the player mobile app. We really do appreciate the community participation here. We appreciate you helping us test and provide feedback on these things. It is invaluable. I've said this so many times, but I will reiterate right now, everything is about what this community wants and needs and we are doing our best to give the community those things that are going to help you enhance your game the most and so your feedback and and us keeping our finger on the pulse of what is needed is incredibly vital to this required for this and uh, we really do appreciate all of the help with testing uh, everything that is in alpha right now and we're going to be uh, moving forward into some exciting places with all of those I want to remind you all, this is a really cool thing that's going on uh, working with Wizards of the Coast here for the Mythic Odysseys of Theros hardcover. Local game stores have been impacted quite a bit by the pandemic and everything uh, surrounding this situation. And we love local game stores and we want to uh, try to help as much as possible. This is a great way to help Wizards Play Network stores. Uh, there are something like 3,000 of them uh, in North America, I think. So there are lots and lots of those stores out there. 
but these uh, WPN stores are, uh, you're able to pre-order Mythic Odysseys of Theros. The hardcover is not coming until July 21st because of all the printing delays with uh, the, uh, quarantine going on. But if you pre-order it from that local store, the hardcover, the first 20 people that do this at these stores are going to receive a 50% off discount code on D&D Beyond for the Mythic Odysseys of Theros digital version. And this is the cheapest that you will be able to get any book uh, ever really on the D&D Beyond platform uh, outside of the uh, similar promotion that we did with the Essentials Kit and the Player's Handbook last year. So definitely do this if you are able uh, if you're financially able to uh, pick up the hardcover to support those local stores and also be able to pick up that digital version, the codes to those local stores uh, have started going out. If they're not all, they should already all be delivered, but um, they are going out to those stores. So if you're pre-ordering, you should be getting that code and then you can turn around and pre-order Moot on uh, D&D Beyond as well. So you'll get all the pre-order bonuses on D&D Beyond if you use that code before June 2nd, when the book actually releases on the digital. So keep all of this in mind. And if you're able to do this, uh, it is a really great opportunity. I encourage you to take advantage of it. Upcoming Unearthed Arcana. So we had some playtest content that landed this week. And as always, uh, we uh, you know kind of have an embargo in place to get this up and running on D&D Beyond. Uh, the target is always the Monday following any type of uh, unearthed Arcana release. And so at the moment, we are targeting Monday. We reserve the right for something to go wrong potentially, and it might get pushed back, but we don't anticipate that happening. Everything should be happening on Monday, so you'll be able to play the Phantom Rogue. I'm a much bigger fan of this iteration than I was with the revived. Um, the genie, really, really strong. Love the concept of uh, the genie. You ain't never had a friend like me. Yeah, so uh, all of that, just thinking of Robin Williams being my patron is uh, an incredible thought. And then uh, the Order of Scribes Wizard. Uh, again, I've seen a lot of positive feedback about all of these already. Uh, and where they are with uh, the playtest. And so those will be available on D&D Beyond very soon. So keep an eye open for that. Player mobile app public beta. So this is actually where, uh, you know, we've got a few thousand people that are uh, testing this currently in alpha that are pulled from our subscribers. And this is where they will hit the app stores. Uh, and, and when I say they, I'm talking about a single app that's going to iOS and Android, but they will hit those stores and the public will be able to download and start using the app. And this is the character sheet in a mobile app. Uh, this has been a, uh, an oft requested thing uh, here on uh, d, d Beyond. So we're really excited for that public beta. It, it's coming very soon. So we will be shouting that from the rooftops as soon as that's available. This is where you can play your character offline for the most part. Of course, there are some limitations to that because uh, it's just the way that, uh, you know, the inf internet infrastructure in our world works today. There are some limitations, but uh, for all intents and purposes, you're going to be able to go to that convention or play in that deep, dark basement where Wi-Fi does not reach and you'll be able to use your characters through this mobile app. Digital Dice Public Beta is also coming very soon. We're really excited about what that means and uh, we'll share more on that one uh, here in a, in a few weeks as well. And then Combat Tracker, we are also looking at what the next round of changes are going to be for that because we've gotten some great feedback throughout the alpha. We're gonna be uh, looking at and reviewing that feedback and see what it's going to take for us to get that into a public beta as well. So those are some upcoming things. Again, there are other things that are upcoming that might not be on the list as of this week. It, it is probably because there isn't anything very specific that I have to share about it. Uh, but uh, so it's not a complete list, as it says in the disclaimer at the bottom of the screen there. But uh, these are some of the things that are upcoming that we're really excited about.